Joining us today is a special man. He is the Congress's mass leader, former Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Sidramaya. Sir, thank you for talking to us today. Thank you. Sir, I'll come to the first question. You've been touring across Karnataka. Over the last few days, you've been in Kalyan, Kalyan Karnataka region. How's the response been, sir? The response of the voters is tremendous, more than our expectation. Everywhere I went, 15, 20,000 people are gathering. See, in a constituency headquarters, if the gathering is 20,000, it's a very big crowd. And people are coming voluntarily. Voluntarily they are coming. Whereas BJP is bringing them by paying money. But it is not so in our case. But I think the people of Karnataka have decided to vote Congress party and bring back the Congress party with a comfortable majority. True. Sir, you spoke about uh, BJP and its rallies. All their national leaders are coming to Karnataka. Mr. Yogi Adityanath recently said, there are no riots in Uttar Pradesh because we have good law and order. You're a former chief minister, sir. How do you view it? See, I have to laugh at it. There is no land order in UP, in Bihar also. Adityanath, after he became a chief minister, see, the son of a minister who is responsible for the death of six farmers. Can you say that it is a land order is good? See, land order is not only now, ever since independence, the land order is, land order is very bad. That is why we call Jungle Raj. Yogi Hadithinath has not made any improvement. Even today, people call it as Jungle Raj. Sir, you have Mr. Modi and Amit Shah coming to the state. The BJP says it will be a game changer. It will change BJP's fortune. How do you assess, sir? BJP is a most corrupt government. How can the Modi change the thinking of the people? See, people used to discuss everywhere. This government is a 40% commission government. See, there is a corruption in recruitment, there is a corruption in uh, transfers, corruption in uh, approving the projects, corruption in releasing the LOC. When such being the case, and this is the experience of everybody, because the police officer who is circle inspector, for his transfer he has to pay 50 lakh rupees. How can anybody expect that police officer can discharge his duties honestly? So that is the situation in Karnataka. So this is a corrupt, most corrupt government. The people are fed up with the corruption and uh, misrule and uh, uh, non-performance of the government. Uh, they have not done anything. They have claimed that there is a uh, double Indian government. Where is the double Indian government? See, Narendra Modi ji is lying so many things. Whatever he promised before he, he became a Prime Minister, not a single major promise has been fulfilled. Sir, just before elections got announced, Basuraj Bhumai's government changed the reservation matrix. Now you are saying that you will restore reservation for Muslims and increase the ceiling to 75%, sir. See, there is a ceiling in Indira Sahani case. 
रिजर्वेशन सलाट एक्सीड फिफ्टी परसेंट दिस इज ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बेंच कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल बेंच जजमेंट नाइन जजेस वर देयर इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू दे डेलवर्ड ए जजमेंट सेइंग दैट रिजर्वेशन शल नॉट एक्सीड फिफ्टी परसेंट नो द रिजर्वेशन बै एनहांसिंग एस सी एस टी एंड बैकवर्ड कम्युनिटी एंड लिंगायत वकलीगास now it has gone up to 56% how it is valid and the law how is valid in the eye of the judgment see it is a political gimmick that they have done nobody is happy with that it is backfired as per as bjp is bjp government is concerned it is backfired because it matter is pending before the supreme court sir you are saying you will increase it to 75% how do no, you plan to do it we are going sir? to we are going to amend the constitution and we request the government of india also to amend the constitution to include it in the ninth schedule ninth schedule because tamil nadu government has increased from 50% to 69% yes it is in force why not in karnataka there is a demand from backward communities lingayat vokligas serv castes serv tribes minorities you have to give adequate representation to all sections of the society sir mr amit shah says muslims can't be given reservation because reservation on religion basis is illegal unconstitutional see one chinnapuridi is a former judge yes he has given a report the third backward class commission report he has given a report why he has given a report has it been challenged in a court of law huh? since it is in force since 1995 that is that means to say almost 28 years the reservation for muslims is there yes. anybody has gone to the court any report from the permanent backward class commission any judgment by the high court or the supreme court in the absence of all these things is it not a hate politics against the minorities if it, if you feel that reservation cannot be given on religious religious ground you should have challenged it in a court of law why are not challenged it in a court of law now the court said that it, this is unethical unconstitutional see that is the observation made by the supreme court they have called it on a shaky ground the court says the court says it is on a shaky ground yeah see bjp people never committed to social justice they are against social justice they are against reservation when mandal commission report when vp singh took a decision to implement it who opposed it hmm who opposed it when 73rd 74th amendment came into existence yes. the reservation to backward communities reservation to women reservation to sc sts in president to vice president posts who opposed this in a court of law uh, see it is bjp only opposed it what does it mean they are against the reservation the depressed classes the people who are denied opportunities they should not be given preferential treatment and they should not come to mainstream sir the bjp on the other hand says the five guarantees that you have given to people your poll promise they are saying that will push 
Karnataka and its exchequer towards bankruptcy, sir. You have submitted record number of budgets as finance minister. Na, see, I have presented 13 budgets. Yes. I know the financial position of the state. We have discussed at length what programs can be implemented, how much money is required. All those things we have discussed. It is possible for the state to implement these five guarantees. It's because, you, for example, you are giving 7 kgs of rice yes. at pre up cost per head. They have reduced it to 5 kgs. See, when you are capable of giving 7 kgs of rice mm -hmm. to the poor people, why not 10 kgs of rice? Another 2 to 3, 2 to 3,000 crores is required if you give uh, 10, kgs. 10 kgs of rice. And uh, giving free power up to 200 units, and 2,000 rupees per family head woman, 2,000 rupees per month. It is also possible. And uh, giving stipend, I mean, uh, unemployed, unemployed graduates, graduates. 3,000 rupees per month, up to two years only, hmm. not, not forever. Uh, not forever. Hmm. Up to two years. Suppose you pass. You pass it up, BE. Two years, up to two years, you will get 3,000 rupees per month. After two years, you have to, before two years, you have to find a job. Job, yes. And that is why skill development program will be, will going to launch mm. in a big manner. Mm. And also, in private sector also, we will try to create jobs. Sir, BJP says we have given Skill India and start, BJP says we have given Skill India and Startup India that will give youngsters jobs. That was given not during, uh, during our period only it was given. Hmm. Why say Startup India, okay, how much uh, goods? Or by way of uh, uh, export, we are sending how much quantity of uh, goods we are importing from China. Mm. Let him say, let him say, tell the truth. They are all gimmicks. Narendra Modi ji said, Ache din ayenge. Aya? Aya kya? Achedin, all the prices of the essential commodities has gone up. That is why you announced 2,000 rupees per woman, family head, every month. Sir, we'll come to Varuna. You are contesting from Varuna. We've also gone there for ground reports. The BJP says V Somana will tie up Sidramaya in Varuna. You ought to see your assessment. We are very tied up. I am touring the state. Yes. Huh? You were there only on Sunday. Huh? Only last Sunday you were in Varuna. Yes, yes. Last Sunday. Another two days I am going there. Hmm. Fourth and fifth I will be in the constituency. Afterwards, till third I will be on tour. Again, seventh and eighth I will be on tour. Hmm. Sir, my final three, four questions to you. One is, you've also answered this many times, what does the Congress party plan to do once, if the Congress party gets majority, who will be the chief ministerial case? See, you will go by the democratic process. Democratic process you will go. Hmm. The elected MLAs will have to elect the leader of the legislature party. Hmm. Afterwards, I recommend us to take a decision on the basis of the opinion expressed by the newly elected MLA. So this, this uh, rumor or this talk that there will be power sharing, anything discussed with you, sir, do you want to clarify that there would be power, power sharing, sharing between you power and... Power sharing with whom? Between DK Shukumar and you. Was there any talk, sir, do you want to clarify? That has not been discussed. 
we leave it to the newly elected MLA. Okay. Sir, the other aspect here is uh, uh, your uh, grandson was there on your nomination day in Varuna. You also said once he attains the age of 25, 26, he would also get into politics. No, if he's interested, mm. after his education, let him come to the politics. That's what I said there. Mm. Now he's in second PU. Mm. Another eight, nine years, he can't come to politics. Mm. See, when i filing the nomination, mm. my grandson has come to Varuna constituency yes. with the curiosity to know mm. how nominations will be filed, mm. how it will be done, in the returning, before the returning officer and all that. He wanted to come, no, that is why, but... Does he have he, interest, sir? Huh? Is he interested? Have you spoken to him? Yes. Yes, interest. But I told him, till education is over, hmm. don't think of politics. Hmm. Sir, have you seen the comments that uh, some of the political parties have made, saying that you're promoting your grandson, you criticized JD as saying, Appa Makkala Paksha. Uh, where I have promoted my grandson? Where? Huh? Mm. He is still 17 years old. Yes. Boy. He is facing the PUC examination. Mm. See, it is not correct. This is only politically motivated statement by the BJP people. Sir, Mr. Amit Shah says, in all assembly elections, now, there is a different voter base of Labartis, the beneficiaries of government scheme, who vote for Modi, irrespective of whether state or assembly what, election. What government schemes they have given to people of Karnataka? Let me know. Any promise made by Narendra Modi this has been fulfilled. Two crore job every year. And Achedi Nayanga. Naka unga, naka ne dunga. 15 lakh rupees will be given to each and every family. Mm. I will bring, I will bring the black money which is deposited out, outside the country. Mm. See, all promises. See what happened. You know, banning of the note. Mm. Mm. Hmm? He said uh, the black money will be vanished. As, as has been done. Huh? They are all major promises he has made. Hmm. None of them has been fulfilled. Sir, my final two questions to you. Yes. Fi yes. No, no, fine, I am closing it. Sir, you are touring across Karnataka and you have great energy level at these uh, rallies and road shows and you are also a cricket fan. How are you managing all this, sir? But the highway strong immunity hmm. that is how i could have could able to travel the, across the across the state are you following ipl sir huh? ipl are you following sometimes whenever uh, i'm in bangalore hmm. first match i have attended yes afterwards i could not you started campaigning after that sir finally is there a tally that you want to give us, sir? How many seats Congress would get, how many BJP and how many JDS? Minimum 130, we may reach 150 also. Well, Mr. Sidramaya, you have taken out time from your busy schedule and given us a detailed interview. Thank you for talking to CNN News 18.